Well, howdy, 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 everybody. Teresa here. Just me and the critters for the moment. Brad is running an errand. Um, and I know I look like crap, but I know you guys don't come on here to see how I look. There's many, many other beauty channels that you could, you know, enjoy yourself with. I don't know. Anyway, um, this is going to be kind of jumbled because I'm kind of foggy. Um, but I'm far sicker than I thought. My UTI has, you know, gone up into the bladder and everything. So um, then I have an infection in my breast, and that's been very bacteria. It's been very resistant to bacteria, so I'm trying a new one on that. But the thing was, my temperature was quite high. It was like 102.5, and you're like, that's not very high. My temperature normally runs 96.3. So, and then we just stopped and get a little bit of Burger King. We had a coupon because we were hungry and I needed to take medicine. And so we did that. And then we laid down and I got up and I thought I was going to just get up and watch some YouTube videos, do some looming, and fell back asleep. And when I got up, I had to shake so bad. You know, when you just can't get warm and, uh, uh, yeah, so I had to shake so bad. Uh, Brad said for about a half hour, he was piling blankets on me and everything. Um, I'm still really cold, and he said it's really warm in here. You know, I don't know what the temperature is outside. Let me see. Uh, let me see. It's 86 right now, and I swear it is, like, below zero. But I'll be okay. I'm not shaking there as bad. My chest doesn't hurt anymore because I was shaking so hard and then my chest was really hurting. So I had to use the rescue inhaler and stuff. Um, but Brad's gone to go get the two prescriptions. She went ahead and called those in right away because we need those. Trying to figure out the rest with, you know, yeah, we have our own insurance. But then, uh, thankfully, the clinic we go to has a sliding scale fee. And you never know when you need that. And uh, our pharmacy does that too. So, thank goodness. And we even compare prices. My friend Carol gave me, uh, called the Good RX. You can use it even if you have insurance. And so we compared prices to see if it would be cheaper, but it wasn't. Hang on just a second. Uh, doctor was very concerned. My blood sugar was 384. The highest it has ever been. But um, she's going to put me on some different medications for that. And I'm going to start being a lot better. I was being really good, if you guys remember. And then I got laid off and, you know, emotional eating, you know. And sometimes you'll just use any, you'll be able to do that. So, uh, yeah, that's what's going on there. Um, I think Brad's making me chicken noodle soup tonight because. You know, that's what I always want when I'm sick. It is always what you want when you're sick. And um, besides that, I'm just kind of sitting convalescent. You know, I've got blankets and blankets on top of my legs. And you see, I'm wearing a dress and I'm wearing this jacket over the top. And, um, yeah. So, Brad's okay. His blood sugar's okay and stuff. Um, oh, I had lost some weight, so that was good. I was happy about that. You know, it wasn't a whole, whole bunch, but I think it was 12 pounds, and, and I haven't been being careful lately. I was really shocked and pleased. Um, Brad's weight stayed about the same. She's going to try him on some beta blockers for his familiar tremors in his hands. Um, you know, and I don't know. I think she was talking about sending him, referring him to a um, orthopedist, but I'm not sure. Um, she was really, really busy and kind of in a rush, so we don't even know when she wants to see us again. I assume it's three months. That's what it always is, you know. So that's what gives us something to work toward. I'm getting really scared about the diabetes because, you know, I know so many things, bad things can happen, you know, and, um, you know, I'm having a hard time getting sores to heal and stuff, so, um, yeah. And she told me, I have these sores, and there's five of them, 
on my right breast. I'm not going to show you guys another kind of a channel. Um, she said, well, do, were they from spider bites or what? And I said, well, I think a couple of them were. Then a couple of them were just like, you know, boils or, in, uh, you know, a zit or something. And then it just never would clear away. So, um, yeah. I had a heart heart with her and told her that's why I'm not going to have a mammogram until that gets healed up. <laughs> you know, um, you got an infection and then they're going in their pancake and your, your boobies. Not a good thing. So, that's what's going on, guys. I'll get feeling better. I still have a good attitude. It was beautiful out today. It was very, very pretty. Except for we had the yellow snow going on. In Florida is what it's called because there's so much pollen, you know. And um, But, yeah, it's a beautiful day out. And the puppies are good. Huh, Nixie, Nixie? Huh, baby girl? She slept. They slept with me last night. Come here, sweetie. I know. And they both slept with me last night. And they kept both kind of nudging me with their nose to see if I was okay. And stuff. Uh, they're my baby. <laughs> Met the most pleasant nurse there at the clinic. She has a dog that's about 40 pounds higher or uh, more than, than Charlie. It just She said he's squishy. And uh, she had goats. So, and then she had e eucalyptus. And I'm a big fan of eucalyptus. You guys know that. And so, um, we were talking about that. She was a really neat gal. She even said she was so glad she met us. And stuff. So, that was nice. That was really nice. Um, that's it. That's it. Nothing else really going on, guys. I'll feel better in a few days. I'll bounce back up. Oh, and then with, because Brad, you know, been laid off with the sliding scale fee, instead of having to pay $50 each time we go for a copay, it's 10 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. You know, because it's nice to know I can go in when I have a UTI. I don't have to wait. You know, this UTI has presented itself about two weeks ago, and I've, I've waited you know, so, um, yeah, I'm so thirsty. My doctor said, go ahead and drink all you want because your body's trying to flush the extra sugar out. I'm like, okay, I will then. You know, this is iced tea we brewed here at home. I told you guys about that. I just run hot water. Throw my tea bags in. I usually throw in for it. This is for a whole gallon pitcher. Four of the um, orange pico, I believe it is, and then the black tea, and or no, six of them, and then four flavored tea bags. <clears throat> a lot cheaper than because I can get a hundred count of those tea bags for of the just normal for a dollar eighteen. So we're just talking the normal cup size, not the family size. Um, that's really cheap. So, been doing that. That saved money and everything. Um, that's about it. Still working on um, a hat. And we're just going to take it easy and stuff. Get over this. You know, Brad didn't realize how sick I was. And he really wants to go fishing. I finally had to confess to him over the weekend. I'm like, honey, I can't go fishing right now. There's no way. I mean can't be away from a bathroom, and I just don't feel good and stuff. And I said, but you can go ahead and go and have fun, you know. So I don't know if he's going to go tomorrow or not. He might. I think it would be good for him. So anyway, um, I hope everybody has a great day. Um, and I love how kind and supportive you guys are to me. Um, uh, I do cherish all of your friendships. And I think you're awesome. And I hear Brad home. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye.